You guys have no idea how excited I am to do this video. Anyway, before we continue, I would like to ask you to stay for the rest of the video since uh, there's a little, little, little something at the end of it. You probably read it in the title, but whatever. Anyway, I'm excited because today I'll be reviewing the Artist 12 second gen. I was super surprised about this since I was just strolling through Twitter, terrible decision I know, and I got a random DM from the official XP Pen Twitter account. They reached out to me and they asked me if I was interested in reviewing one of their products. And I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not passing this up. I don't have any experience with XP Pen. All of the tablets I've had in the past are from different companies, but th so this is my first experience with XP Pen. Don't mind my cat, he kind of just wanted to hang out through the entirety of this video. But here are my thoughts when I first received it. First of all, I'd like to really comment on the sleek design. The sleek design looks really cool, had a very matte design. It's very thin. The first thing I definitely noticed was the lack of a stand, and if you know my story about breaking stands, um, yeah, that was a bit of a problem for me, but it was okay. I ended up using this little bowl kind of contraption thing to keep it up. I like drawing at an angle, as most of you do. The good thing about it is that it's got these little rubber stubs at the end of every corner. So if you do want to put it at an angle, you could just get something that is a flat surface and lean on it. Um, I'm sure you can lean it on other surfaces too. It also comes with... What kind of wires are those? I need to see. Since it is a screen display, it does come with its own HDMI, as well as a 3-in-1 USB-C port as well. In addition to being able to connect it to your computer, because you do need a desktop. You can also add it, uh, you can also connect it to your phone. I don't have a Samsung, or an Android, or a wire, so I couldn't try it out for myself. I'd love to. It also comes up with a cleaning cloth, some extra pen nibs, of course the stylus, it comes up with the it comes with a little ring where you can like pull this pen nib out of the stylus, and it also comes with a glove, something I've never had before. When I first put it on, it felt so foreign to me. <laughs> I don't really, uh, I don't really use gloves. I've always wanted to draw, uh, to buy a drawing glove as well. Again, while I am not the most techiest, I do know that the XP Pen has its own X3 smart chip. With it, it powers the activation force of the pen, aka when you press down how heavy it is, which is only 3 grams. It also has a retraction distance of 0.6 millimeters, aka the distance nozzle or pen nib, and how much it affects the area that it presses against. When you do notice the design, I really like the addition of buttons. I already have a tour box, so I highly doubt that I would dedicate time into properly using these buttons, but for the sake of trying, out, trying it out, I did my best to focus on the buttons instead of the tour box, but every once in a while I slipped up and my brain immediately went to the tour box and I was fiddling around with the buttons. I did eventually calibrate the buttons to similar buttons that I would use on the tour box, aka the flip, the horizontal, the zoom in, the zoom out, the save, all that jazz. I did an entire stream where I was drawing myself, drawing on the tour box, as well as like other characters and everything. This piece is to commemorate 2021, the end of it. It's been a wild year for me, I wouldn't be able to be reviewing an XP pen of all things if it weren't for YouTube, if it weren't for Twitch. I'm just so grateful for all the support and everything. I really am. 
But yeah, here's my thoughts when I started using it. So, of course, I am not used at all at, to using the XP pen. I went to the website and I downloaded the drive. For some reason, each time I tried to load up, when I took little breaks here and there, uh, I had to constantly recalibrate everything. I had to resize everything, I had to change the key, I had to change the colors, I had to make sure the screen uh, wasn't oversaturated, if I needed to tune it, if it needed to be more saturated. But other than that, the calibration was the one thing that did get on my nerves. The XP pen worked pretty well. I'd say overall, when it comes to the XP pen, other than those few hiccups I mentioned, most likely they were hiccups on my end of things. I'm not the best when it comes to tech, obviously, or anything and all that jazz. I don't know the technical sides of things, so there's not much I can offer other than that, other than my own experience. Well, the calibration did work. It didn't feel like there was too much tilt. There was no parallaxing, as in, like, when the pen moved, the area in which I was drawing in was around the same area. A another thing I'd like to add though is the choice of colors. I think the uh, light pink, light blue, light green, they're, they're nice. While I did encounter some problems, I would say my overall experience when it came to reviewing the Artist, um, Artist 12, it wasn't that bad. I liked how it felt. It was drawable. The Artist 12 does a great job in offering you a lot of options. It gives you the buttons on the side, the colors are cute and sleek. I ended up choosing light green because I thought it would fit my room. <laughs> no way I'm showing you my room though. Another thing I'd like to add is that I really like the addition of being able to change the brightness on the screen. The other side of the tablet has these volume light buttons, but instead of changing the volume or anything, it changes the brightness. I thought that was a neat addition. I'd say that the Artist 12 is a pretty good tablet. It gives you the necessities that you need for a baseline in drawing digital art. There aren't too many problems that you encounter with it. The laminated screen offers smooth brush strokes. It's pretty sizable for someone who's walking into digital art. I'm a big believer in not going for something that is large when you're a beginner or when you're first looking for something new, but if you are looking for something in general, I'd say the Artist 12 is a pretty good choice. And here's the information you have all been waiting for, the XP Pen Artist 12 giveaway. I'll be holding the giveaway on one of my community tab YouTube posts, so keep an eye out for that. All you need to do to enter under the community tab is comment your favorite color, your favorite song, and subscribe to the XP Pen YouTube channel, which will be linked down below as well as on the community post. Unfortunately, due to some shipping circumstances, I've been told that the XP Pen won't be able to reach some special areas, including South America, India, the Middle East, as well as Africa. These unfortunately are out of my control. I look forward to scrolling through those comments and finding the lucky winner, but until then, this was my overall review on the XP Pen. It was a pretty exciting video to make, and it took a while to make. It took a while to get finished. I got busy with life, Christmas hit, New Year's, 2022 came into existence. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are, drink water, stay healthy, make good decisions, stay safe.